So I wrote, Welcome to Nigeria where people like Tony Abraham, because she supports Tunubu, can just wake up and lock up citizens without any court order. They are now the court and feel untouchable. Until we start holding idiots like this accountable, sanity won't return to this country. Firstly, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I do not condone the form of insult to Abraham received, most especially the one that was referring to her husband and also her children. No, I do not condole it. I do not condole it because we saw messages like your 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 children will buy, your children will die, all those kind of crazy talk. You no. Know? Firstly, I do not condole it. But then again, two wrongs cannot make a right. You understand? You cannot, one mouth, think you are fighting for the injustice in Nigeria and they are not doing the right thing. Someone insulted you on Twitter. So the next thing you think you could do is to oppress that person using your money. Person don't feel toxic for this country. Eh? Now only Nigeria. Now big man go the old poor man fifty thousand naira. But the big man go rather go take five hundred k. Five hundred thousand naira. Pay it to the pay it to the security agencies to deal with that person that is holding fifty thousand naira. It's in our blood. No matter how you think you are. That oppression is in our blood. We want to oppress each other. No matter how it be. It is in your blood. It is in my blood. It's about time we flush that particular blood out of our system. To follow due process. You cannot arrest somebody without a court order. It's an investigation. If they investigate and you report the matter to police, they investigate. So why bring it police influencing the Nigeria police to arrest people. Eh? We supported you, Tony Abraham, but now you are going around arresting Twitter, arresting Nigeria youths. It's something, it's a trend that you don't want to go, honestly, Tony Abraham. It's a trend that you do not want to go. Tony Abraham arrested about one person the other time. Now he has arrested this guy. <laughs> this guy, yeah. And the guy said, To Abraham, you sent police to pick up my mom. Okay, it's mom. Okay, he seen that wrote the tweet, but it wasn't around, then they pick his mom. It's Tony Abraham, you sent police to pick up my mom at home. L O L said I bullied you. Where did I bully you? Me of all people. So this what this guy wrote was he said. As I then, Mr. Abraham, you collect money, you collect Tunubu money, use do hair transplant for your husband. Stop, stupid fool. If person call you stupid fool, is that bully? Then you want to go arrest person? Hey, that wow, these people get mind oh. because of money. Say you now see who you that they support. According to Mr. Macaroni, he said, if anyone insult you or defame your character, go to court and seek justice. APC throw insult me and tell so many lies against my person. I have never for once used police to illegally arrest or detain anyone and never will I. There is a serious danger in using the police to illegally detain citizens. I hope those of you supporting this abuse of power won't cry foul when you or your beloved ones are the victim. To be clear, this is not to support online bullying and harassment. I strongly condemn it but and believe that those involved should be made to face the consequences of their action. I am a victim myself and I know how mentally damaging it is. But go to court and seek justice like the rest of us do. Don't use your friends in government to illegally detain citizens. It may favor you now, but think about tomorrow when you no longer have the power 
or the closeness to that power. It might not be you. It might be someone you care about. What will become of us if everyone takes law into their hands? Please, you don't have to be enemy public number one. By the, because Nigeria is at the verge of going something somewhere we don't even understand. So you don't have to be the public, public enemy number one. You don't want to go there in history. Read, they will read you by what you did. Well, he said go arrest more people. Even uh, even uh, 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 Danny, Danny as well also came for her. <laughs> Danny said, hey, "Hello, twin. You will have to send police to pick all pick all of us. You are very shameful." Danny said, "You can abuse me. I call me names. It's fine." And I like and like I said, I accept and take it in cause. I'm in the public eyes. Be, be causing kids and lying is what I won't accept. And lastly, I never, I will never arrest anyone's mom. I made the report I cyber crime as a citizen. That is come, coming from Tony Abraham. The another person said, What rubbish cyber crimes that the court can't address? Is the police the first line of action to address such allegations? I thought you were educated. Then he, she said, Yusuf, I made my report and trustfully, like you said, I might not be educated enough because I actually don't know how it works. I made my report legally and with due process because the causes and threat were too much. <laughs> she was just receiving his sort up and down. So, but somebody will say, you'll be mumu. Cyber crime is for the court to address, not the police station. I, are you too broke to employ a lawyer? Stop lying. You ask your friends in government to arrest Ayo. If not, why can't you direct them in that cyber department to sue him then? You are, you are not making any sense right now. <laughs> Everybody were just coming for him. Coming from, uh, for her, I mean, sorry. Coming for her. But uh, let's be honest, eh? To Abraham. I think she might have made a mistake. I don't know about her, but come on. Now, now I even know that uh, when it comes to cyber crime, it's caught that handle it. Caught, we ask the police to investigate and everything. But you sending people to go and immediately arrest uh, arrest uh, people. Even Daniel Ebu versus say, you insult people every day, but you think you can bully ordinary citizens because you have small money. To Abraham, you will, you will carry all of us, mad woman. Then Danny say, Danny, bye. When my kids were caught, you never for once said anything. But now that I am standing up for myself, you think I am using money and power. But yeah, I'm not just protecting my life. Ah, Danny, you come to. Danny was just straight firing her. <laughs> okay, guys, let me know exactly how you feel about this and uh, all those kind of crazy things. She was just trying to explain herself. About her arresting uh, uh, <laughs> Twitter people and everything. And she also said, yeah, lying on my head comfortably now. The world won't see this if I react now. They will say something else. I never arrested your mom. Your friend Ayo was arrested for bullying and cursing and defaming my family. And mom went there saying she won't live without him. Okay, let me know, guys. To Abraham, eh, you know you are a music, you are a movie producer. This is not a way to go. People receive interest a day. You understand? The thing is that block comments, block comments. Don't allow anybody to comment on your post. Block comments and do not read comments as well. Do not read comment because we already know. President said they have. They have insulted president. All the presidents that I have known, they have been insulting them for, for the bad things they have been doing. But none of those insults gets to them. They keep flourishing. They keep enriching themselves. They keep having more money. They, they keep looting. Looting and looting and looting and looting. But God will catch them one day. God will catch them one day. But you, you are a public figure. Who is also in your money house? 
Don't allow such thing to offend you. People are receiving insult every day. People even make it their daily food to wake up in the morning and type one insulting message to somebody. Just people like that. They make it their daily food. So, why you they provoke? Not only you they insult, they have insulted me before. Now, now you have you are not you want, you want to become a public enemy number one now. If anything, Kasala for Nigeria now, they're gonna say you're a public enemy. Jam what I want to come out for your come out for that space, man. Come out, leave it. Leave that space. Leave this space. Well, guys, uh, let me know exactly how you feel about this ORS coming from uh, Tony Abraham. And uh, catch you next time. Peace.